Hey, people who surprisingly watched my other video on this, um, I'm coming back to it because it was super fun. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing Lawrence's route again because I looked around the game and I decided that I wanted to um, get all of his endings since I've only got two. Um, yeah, so God damn it, where's the main menu? There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, again, this is uh, gory content, sexual content warning because obviously it's boyfriend to death too. And I also apologize because I'm still on my phone and you can hear everything else that's going on around me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's start a game. Like I said, I'm going to be doing Lawrence again. It's not how you said it. Okay. So, because I want to get all of his, uh, you know, his things. Alright. So I'm just going to run through this really quickly because I've done it all already. Just going to relax now. I wasn't in the mood to drink. I just sat by myself. Their quiet voices and the clinks of glasses on the, woods made, on the wood made me feel a little sleepy. I lost track of time and began to doze off a bit. Huh? I fell asleep. I looked around quickly. The bar was empty, or almost empty. There was one man left in the corner, hunched over a drink. How long was I asleep? Maybe he knows what time it is. I got up and approached the man. Hey, sorry to bug you, but do you know what time it is? Oh. Uh. It's almost closing time. It's 1.45. He seemed like he was preoccupied with something else. Oh, by the way, if I'm going, like, really fast on this, or if you, like, notice that I'm going fast, it's because the last video I made was 30 fucking minutes long, which is really long. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but yeah, that's long. So I'm gonna try and make this one shorter. So I said, um, uh, which one should I do? Uh, thanks, I lost track of time. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I can relate to that. I'll probably go soon. I'm just waiting for my friend. I only wondered about his friend for a minute. A much shorter guy came out of the bathroom, looking very cheerful. You know what I didn't realize? That Ren is like 23. Because I was looking through the characters earlier and like looking up at their their reference stuff and like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> 20, over 20. I don't exactly remember how old he is, but he's older than he looks. All right, Lawrence, let's, ah, there's someone else here. I smiled awkwardly at the redhead. I thought I caught a flash of panic in his face before he spoke again. Well, my name is Ren. It's nice to meet you. He looked at me expectantly. Oh, my name's Ian. It's nice to meet you too. We all looked at each other for a moment. What's up with these two? Um, I'll say nothing. They looked at each other awkwardly for a moment. <laughs> then Ren returned to, turned to me and smiled. Hey, I know. I can get us around before it closes. Oh, I- he trotted off to the bartender before I could say anything. I, uh, then Lawrence followed him. I stared after them, confused about the whole situation. Ren must be older than he looks, since the bartender is serving him. I sat down at their table and kept watching. They were talking to each other quickly and quietly. It almost looked like they were arguing, but then they both returned. What? They both returned and smiled. Lawrence set the drinks down in front of each of us. One more drink for the night. I'll take mine this time, because if you don't remember, last time I I took, uh, I think I took Lawrence's. <laughs> so I'll take mine. I reached for the drink Lawrence set in front of me. I took a sip. It was a, it was a rum and coke, a comforting drink. I relaxed a bit as I finished it. I looked across the table at my new companions. Lawrence didn't touch his drink. Ren started to look more worried. 
It's really late. I think I should leave. Wait, you're leaving? Sorry. Ren ran out the door. Hey, wait. Then Lawrence ran after him. I stood there, baffled. Then I shook my head. Those two really are none of my business. And I really should be heading home. I grabbed my coat and strolled out of the pub into the crisp night air. Lawrence and Ren were nowhere in sight. Well, that was weird. I started walking back to the side back down the sidewalk and felt something tap my shoulder. I jumped, startled, and turned around. Dot dot dot. Ah! You startled me. <laughs> he seemed to be struggling with what to say. Ren's path split from mine. I'm sorry. Um, what would I do if I were ignore him? Oh, I'll say better luck next time. It's late. Ren left by himself. And I should go to- Ren was different. Rex, man, you can always hang out with him for later. <laughs> I'm sure Ren just wanted to get home. And I'm going home too. Dodge. He took a swing at me. His fist connected with the bricks where my head used to be. Ag! I started running down the street away from him. This guy is nuts. I stumbled a bit as I tried to run. All the drinks I had earlier in the night were slowing my steps. I kept moving. I couldn't hear him behind me. There was an alley to the right. Um, I'll go left this time. I ran- oh god. I ran across the street. Oh. Oh, who are you? Whoa, I did not- I didn't see you there. This asshole just hit me with a motorbike! I wanted to yell in surprise, but I- oh my god. <laughs> but I couldn't seem to move or talk. Tch. You made a real mess. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I noticed my blood glinting on his bike before everything went cold and dark. <laughs> I didn't look both ways. Alright, well... Sweet. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright, starting over again, guys. Hooray. <sighs> right back to the jackalope. Just gonna skip through all of this stuff. Do everything I did beforehand. Uh, I'll ask if he's alright. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just waiting for my friend. I only wondered about his friend for a moment. A much shorter guy came out of the bathroom looking very cheerful. Uh, Lawrence. Alright, Lawrence, let's. Ah! There's someone else here. <laughs> I smiled awkwardly at the redhead. I thought I caught, a I caught a flash of panic on his face before he spoke again. Well, my name's Ren. It's nice to meet you. He looked at me expectantly. Oh, my name is Ian. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> I think this is all gonna go the same way. We all looked at each other for a moment. What's up with these two? Alright, so I'm gonna ask Ren if everything's okay, because I think it'd be weird if I asked Lawrence. Yes, everything is great. <laughs> hey, I know. I can get us around before it closes. Oh, I- he trotted off to the bartender before I could say anything. I, uh- alright, so I'm just gonna skip through this part. Lawrence set down the drinks in front of each of us. One more drink for the night. And I'll take mine again. I reached for the drink worn set in front of me. I took a sip. It was rum and coke, a comforting drink. I relaxed a bit as I finished it. I looked across the table at my new companions. Lawrence didn't touch his drink. Ren stared, started to look more worried. It's really late. I think I should leave. Wait, you're leaving? Sorry. Ren ran out the door. Hey, wait! Lawrence ran after him. I stood there baffled, and then I shook my head. 
Those two really are none of my business. And I really should be heading home. I grabbed my coat and strolled out of the pub into the crisp night air. Oh, yeah, there we go. Lawrence and Ren were nowhere in sight. Well, that was weird. I started walking down the sidewalk and felt something tap my shoulder. I jumped, startled, and turned around. Dot, dot, dot. Ah! You startled me. He seemed to be struggling with what to say. Ren's path split from mine. Did it really, though? Um... I wonder what would happen if I ignored him. Would I die right there? That'd kind of suck. <laughs> um, I'll ask him what he's talking about. Didn't Ren just leave because it's so late? Ren was different. Oh, so he's not going to answer me anyway. Um, I'll say relax, man. You can always hang out with him later. Anyway, I'm going to go home. Oh, dodge again. Yeah. <laughs> he took a swing at me. His fist connected with the bricks where my head used to be. Ag! I started running down the street away from him. This guy is nuts. I, uh, I stumbled as I tried to run. All the drinks I had earlier in the night were slowing my steps. I kept moving. I couldn't hear him behind me. There was an alley to the right. No, nope, I'll stay straight ahead. I kept running past the alley. I slowed slightly to take a look over my shoulder, and that's when I fucked up. What? I felt his whole body weight slam into me from behind and before I hit the ground. My head cracked on the sidewalk, and I fought to stay awake. I could feel him panting with the effort, with effort on top of me. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My first sensation was panic and dread. I froze, not wanting to move or open my eyes until I recall what just happened. The next thing I noticed was the smell. Earthy, warm, and something sickly sweet. I tried to identify the familiar smell as I became aware of some sounds. I could hear shuffling and the light scrapes of metal on wood. It's okay. I'll, I'll fix it. I slowly opened my eyes. It'll be easy. I'll say what will be easy. Ah, you! I gulped and stared at him. Where? My eyes darted around the room. Some sort of studio apartment? There were plants everywhere. Okay, you're probably feeling a little... I tried to move. I couldn't. Hey, calm down. I looked down and saw my arms and legs were tightly taped to a wooden chair. I started to breathe faster and looked back to him. I can explain this. Can you really? I don't think you can. <laughs> Something about this guy seemed... Unstable. What would happen if I screamed for help? I think that would be fun. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna scream for help. Oh. <laughs> I haven't gotten that expression yet. <laughs> I opened my mouth and screamed as loud as I could. Lawrence leapt forward and clapped it, clamped his hand over my mouth. Shh. Oh. I broke the heart. He stared at me hard as I stopped making noise behind his hand. I need you to be quiet. He slowly removed his hand. Okay? <laughs> It'd be funny if I screamed again. I'll nod and stay quiet. I nodded slowly. Look, things got a little out of hand. He paused, thinking. I'd been talking to Ren for a couple of weeks. You know, on the internet. So I was nervous. He started to fidget. And then you showed up. And Ren left, and, and, I listened quietly, but he trailed off. I shifted uncomfortably, feeling more nervous. And now you're here. I couldn't just leave you there. I pulled slowly at the tape around my wrist, beginning to sweat. He looked away. I should never leave. It's... 
not worth it. All I found was another problem. I'll tell him I don't have to be another problem. He paused. What? I can be your friend instead. That'd be cool. Your... I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you know, I didn't either, but uh, you know what? YOLO, right? I had to think of something to convince him. I can see you like plants. <laughs> he paused for a moment and glanced around at the ferns and potted flowers in his apartment. I guess. <laughs> they say a man who gardens can't be a bad person. Well, they're wrong. Oh. <laughs> Lawrence took, looked at a fern and quickly tore a small leaf away from it. Anyone can take care of plants. They're silent. He rolled the leaf in his fingers. Just soft, short little lives. No one knows about them here. He began to crush and smear the leaf between his fingertips. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no one knows or cares if they die. He suddenly smiled. Except for me. He paused and took a deep breath. Ugh. He began to pace around of Ugh. He began to pace around his apartment. You what am I gonna do with you? It's getting early. I should just rest. I I can't think straight now. I found myself wondering what time it was. So in the last the last video I made, I like noticed that throughout this little scene that the sky like gets brighter and darker and that's awesome. <laughs> I found myself wondering what time it was. The sun was rising, but I was too frightened to feel tired. You're probably tired too. You're binaural, right? I kept you up all night. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I don't mind. Oh. I'll just make you some tea to help you sleep. Um. This time I will politely decline. I'm sure I can fall asleep myself. Thank you for the offer, though. I tried to sound as polite as I could. You should drink it. Okay. It seemed less like a suggestion and more like a warning. Okay. <laughs> I decided that it wasn't I wasn't in a position to argue. Okay, fine, I'll take the tea. He nodded silently and walked around me. He started moving somewhere behind me to take to make the tea. I strained to see what he was doing, but I couldn't turn my head enough. Not without snapping my neck, I mean, but you know. Who cares, right? I'm gonna die anyways. <laughs> I could only try to relax as I heard him quietly clinking objects out of my view. After waiting in silence, looking at his plants and hearing some kind of humidifier in the room, I began to feel genuinely tired. Told you I could fall asleep by myself. Yes. It should be cool enough now. He returned the glance at my arms, still taped to the chair. Oh. He leaned forward and brought the cup of tea to my lips gently. It was very warm and tasted unfamiliar, but not bad. I tried to drink it fairly quickly, but I began to feel a bit strange about halfway through. What is this? It's proof. It doesn't take much to change everything. What? This wasn't any normal tea. Obviously. <laughs> As I was about to pass out, I finally recognized the sickly sweet smell. It was him. It smelled like something rotting. I slowly opened my eyes. You're awake. I jolted upright in the chair. How, how long has he been watching me? I had some time to think about it. Uh, you and... I can't let you go. He leaned in closer. You understand, right?
please, at least let me use the bathroom, I asked him desperately. I didn't want to try and get away. Wait, that said I did. I did want to try and get away. But it was also true. Hearn. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. Dot dot dot. Don't worry. I'm not going to keep you much longer. Oh, thank you. I looked at him questioningly, and he bent to grab a large metal bucket. What do you mean? He placed the bucket in front of my legs with a soft clank. <sighs> I looked down at the empty bucket, dread tightening in my gut. <laughs> my attention was caught by the glint of a knife in his hand. I wanted to cry out in fear, but the same dread choked me up as he moved the knife. Dot dot dot. There. Oop. The pain I was expecting never came. I looked down. He tore off the cut tape from around my arms. I looked back at him. Are you letting me go? No. I need you- I need to, um, I need to get your blood out. What? It won't hurt. I- I just got some medicine. Drugs, I guess. Just some tea. And you won't feel a thing. I'll accept the tea this time, because last time I yelled at him and he got angry. There's no point in suffering needlessly, I guess. He grabbed a water bottle from near his plants. Um, it's not hot or anything. Here. He held the bottle out to me. It looked, it looked like any plain water bottle or a jogger. A what? It looked like any plain water bottle a jogger would have. Happy to finally use... Happily... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> happy to finally have the use of my hands back, I took it and held it to my mouth. It tasted bitter and strange. Uh, not so much. He took the bottle from me firmly. Just a little should be enough. I considered answering him, but was too distracted by my fingers beginning to tingle. Oh... The feeling, spread, the feeling spread incredibly quickly, like falling into a pit full of those cold glass beads people put in the bottom of a fish tank. My whole body was numb. There. It'll be easier now. He held the knife. What? He held the knife he cut, the he cut my tape with, turning it over a bit. I was watching the blade when he gripped my wrist tightly. He licked his lips absentmindedly as he gently moved his thumb over my wrist. He was feeling me and concentrating. Then suddenly he stopped and lowered the knife to my skin. Um, last time I grabbed the knife. Should I pull away this time? I'm going to pull away this time. I jerked my wrist away from him. Stop. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, God. All of his, uh, his little sanity bar here is completely empty. <laughs> oh, wow, it's animation. Cool. Lawrence? Something about him seemed different. Something about the whole room seemed different. He stopped and looked right at me. I must have been recoiling. Right, right. You're scared, aren't you? I felt a chill. He was looking at me in a way that made me feel tied up like an animal. He came closer over me. What? He came close to me, over me. You don't want to die, do you? I shivered as he touched my face and shook my head quickly. But everything dies. I know you haven't seen the river. What river? <laughs> it's all right. I've seen it, and I'm still scared. That is a j like a- oh god. <laughs> He's really creepy. <laughs> scared, just like you. All the time. I squirmed uselessly. You have every right to be terrified. They're monsters in the dark. Ha 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 ha. Every day I dream about dying. So every night I stay awake. I see more in the dark. 
And there's so much more to be afraid of. Wait, there's so much to be afraid of. He touched my neck, caressing me softly. It should have been a reassuring gesture, but it wasn't. You're sweet and bright. I guess I picked you before we- what? I guess I picked you before you were supposed to fall. But I suppose that's the way life is. He ran his fingers over my neck, more firmly. I couldn't move away from him. You're still full of warm flesh and blood. But what's underneath? Please stop. I was going to kill you nicely. The right way. Like how hunters kill rabbits or farmers kill chickens. But I'm not a hunter. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. <laughs> I don't want to kill you like that. This music is really, really freaking me out. <laughs> like, I'm getting goosebumps right now. And it's getting dark outside. <laughs> I don't want to kill you like that. I want to peel away your layers and unwind your strings. Oh, so you want to pull me apart like an onion. I choked on a sob. I'll pull every part of you and spread you out. I'll watch your blood and feel the warmth spill out of you. You'll be a perfect, beautiful mess. Broken, ruined, dead. And all mine. No. <laughs> my protest was cut off by... Ah. My protest was cut off by Lawrence shoving a cloth into my mouth and taping it down. I tried to scream as he leaned back, looking over me appreciatively. Don't worry. You don't have to do a thing. You won't even have to breathe for much longer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I turned the- wait, he turned the chair I was bound to. <laughs> I was shaking and sweating. He retrieved a small knife. It's- oh. To- oh, little, little, little. To really see the beauty in the world. You have to have some patience. I can't make that sound. <laughs> I couldn't shriek or cry. I kept shaking as he made a slow, small cut. I stared in horror as he continued. More tiny cuts. I strained, sobbed, and drooled over- Oh, Oh my god. I hate that feeling when you have like a wad of cloth in your mouth. And- <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I strained, sobbed, and drooled into the rag stuffed into my mouth. Just, like, saying that sentence makes me cringe. <laughs> he meticulously carved lines into my flesh, peeling away the strips of skin. Oh! So that's how I'm gonna go. That's not fun. <laughs> I learned the true depth of misery. I felt like an- it, what? It felt like an- it, ugh. Sorry, it's been a long day and I can't talk. <laughs> it felt like an eternity as I dragged- oh my god. It felt like an eternity as I tried to beg him to just kill me. But I couldn't speak through the gag, and I'm sure he wouldn't have listened. I could do nothing but wait until the unyielding agony as he pe what? I could do nothing but wait in unyielding agony as he peeled me apart. My head dropped lower, but I could still hear him. He breathed evenly, calmly. He was even humming softly. I didn't have the strength to scream or flinch. And finally, blissfully, I ran out of enough blood to stay conscious. Oh, I died again. Well, obviously, but that's an interesting title. Lawrence stopped holding back. Dun dun. Alright, so we're almost at the 30 minute mark again. I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for a next episode, possibly. I don't know, this is fun. And I want to get all Lawrence endings too. And hopefully some of the other people who I'm still not entirely sure are. So... 
yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!